Feltma is here with me today. So Daniel, as you know, last season was a very cursed season, I would say. A lot of players got injured, yeah. and unfortunately, the curse follows you into this season. Tell me about your injury that happened at the beginning of the season. Uh, well, I guess it was the very first game. Um, uh, we were just on the ice trying to defend, and a big lemmy ran into me. It wasn't on purpose, it was an accident, but we both fell back, and my head took the foot in back. It's, uh, it's been terrible. Yeah. <laughs> a concussion uh, is a pretty terrible injury that hurts a lot. Exactly, I would agree. And my first question is, knowing that you got this huge injury, terrible injury, how do you get over your fears and get back on the rink and play? Um, well, actually, I didn't have any fear going back. I just all I wanted to do was get back on the rink and play, but I couldn't. Like it was, you know, it was hard walking, sleeping, doing anything. Um, the only fear I had is of hitting my head again, um, so I got a little head protection that uh, just gives me all this confidence to kind of get up and keep going. So it's more psychological than anything I think. So as a defenseman, who do you find that who do you find is the most difficult player in the entire league to defend against? To defend against? Uh, ooh, there's so many of them. Me, I find the fast players really difficult to defend against. Uh, this season, oh, I know Hamilton. Justin Hamilton is terrible to defend against him so quick, and he knows me so well, he just always passes by me. Um, another one is, uh, who else is really fast? Brooksy, he's got a good shot, and if he gets by me too, it's a hard guy to defense. I like the big guys though. You know? I'm a fan of uh, battling against the big guys. Why is that? Um, because I get, you know, I get to use my body a little bit more. You know, I don't have the best hands in hockey, but you know, I like to just fight with them, use a little bit of push and shove. All in good fun, but. And my last question for you today, we have a lot in common. Yeah. You know what that is? I love dancing and uh, so do you. Yep. So okay. tell me something, why is it that you love dancing? I don't know, I think it's in my blood. I mean, it's. Uh, I never thought about it, but you know, I, I've been thinking about it over the years and every time there's music on, I gotta, I gotta move, I can't stop moving. Right. And I'm not a good dancer, I'm terrible, but it just, it, I feel it, I feel the music and something says move, so I keep moving. There's no music here now, but you gotta show us some dance moves. Oh, a little dance one of these? Yeah. <laughs> 